What in the world are fanboys, you may ask? They are words called coordinating conjunctions that we need to use in compound sentences. When writing compound sentences, we often need to use something that is called a coordinating conjunction. These words can be used to connect two simple sentences into one compound sentence. Now, a simple sentence includes a subject, a verb, and an object. The compound sentence has one SVO, the subject verb object sentence, followed by a comma and a coordinating conjunction and finally another SVO sentence. Here's one easy way to remember what these words are. Fanboys. This stands for the words for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. Now before we begin, let's talk a little bit about coordinating conjunctions. When connecting two words or phrases, you do not need a comma. I need to buy bananas and oranges at the store. Now here the word and connects the two words bananas and oranges. Here's another example. The company could only afford to purchase used computers or pre-owned copy machines. Now here the word or connects the phrases used computers and pre-owned copy machines. So when using these fanboys to connect two words or phrases, we do not need to use a comma. When connecting two verb phrases, you do not need a comma. The government has decided to change the original law and implement a brand new one. Here the word and is connecting the two verb phrases, change the original law, and implement a brand new one. Now these phrases, such as implement a brand new one, is not a complete SVO sentence. So we do not need to use a comma in this case. However, when connecting two independent phrases or sentences, you do need to use a comma. The company can only purchase computers or they will not be able to stay within budget. Now, in this compound sentence, the two independent phrases must be connected by a comma. Now, the two independent phrases are, the company can only purchase computers, and they will not be able to stay within budget. Now, in this type of compound sentence, you do need to use a comma before using any of the fanboys. Let's look at a few examples for each of the fanboys. The word for. Use this word to replace the word because. The price was high because the materials used to make it were hard to find. This can be changed to the price was high for the materials used to make it were hard to find. Now the two independent phrases are the price was high and the materials used to make it were hard to find. And you can see there is a comma before the word for. The word and. Use this word to connect to similar or connected ideas. Now here are two simple sentences. The price was high. The marketing team was having difficulty promoting it. Now we can connect them to write a compound sentence like this. The price was high and the marketing team was having difficulty promoting it. You can see the two simple sentences in the sentence connected with the word and and a comma. Use the word nor to connect two negative sentences or ideas. Here's an example. The price was not high, nor the quality too low. Now there are two independent phrases in this sentence connected by the word nor and a comma. 
The word but is one that is often used in compound sentences. Now use this word to show a difference or a change. The price was high. The quality was exquisite. We can combine those into one sentence by writing this. The price was high, but the quality was exquisite. Or is another common word used in compound sentences. Use this word to show a choice between two sentences or ideas. The price was too high. There would be more interest in it. Here's the compound sentence. The price was too high, or there would be more interest in it. Again, here are the two independent phrases used in the compound sentence. Yet. This word is similar to the word but, or can mean in spite of something. The price was too high. Some people were beginning to buy it. The price was high, yet some people were beginning to buy it. And our last fanboys is the word so. It is another very common coordinating conjunction used in making compound sentences. And this word shows the effect of something. We can combine these two sentences in this way. The price was high, so some people could not afford to buy it. Again, you can see the two independent phrases connected by the word so and a comma. Here are a few more examples. The meaning was difficult to understand, for the explanation was not clear. The mountains were beautiful, and the weather was perfect. The choice seemed obvious, but it was still a difficult one to make. The expenses were higher than the income, or there would be more money left in the company. The product was amazing yet many people were not willing to pay the high price. The meeting was thought-provoking, so many people left the room discussing the new concepts. I hope you found this video helpful in learning how to use the fanboys that are used in compound sentences. Use these words to write more compound sentences, and it will improve your writing skills. Happy writing!